Happy summer! In today's video, I will be sharing with you all the fragrances that I am very excited to wear for this summer season. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said, today I'll be sharing with you the fragrances that I am most excited to wear for this summer, 2023. Usually I like to get these videos up like a day before the season starts or the day that the actual season starts. However, this time around, I'm about two days late, so forgive me. <laughs> but your girl has been sick kids were sick we all had the flu and then we traveled for a few days so I'm a little behind on my videos but i know y'all understand anyway it's not too late summer just started these fragrances i'm very excited to wear i do want to kind of say that i just recently did a massive fragrance haul i will link the video for you i'm not really including those fragrances obviously i'm excited to wear them but the fragrances i'm going to be sharing with you today are either fragrances that i maybe haven't had too long um but i've had them longer than like a couple weeks <laughs> So maybe I haven't had them too long, or maybe they're ones that I only pull out around this time of year, so spring, summer, or maybe they're fragrances that I kind of recently rediscovered, or even fragrances that I haven't really played around with too much. So that's how I like to do these types of videos. Of course, there will be more summer videos that you all can look forward to, but for this particular video, those are the caveats. Also, I did one of these videos in the spring, so I will not be including those fragrances. However, I do feel like my spring fragrances will also work for summer for most of you all. So I will link that video for you as well if you wanna check that out. Last word before we actually get into the fragrances. I live in a very hot climate, but not only is it hot, it's very humid here. So summer is not my favorite time of the year to be completely honest with y'all. <laughs> And I tend to go for lighter scents because I know some of y'all wear what y'all want to when you want to, and I'm okay with that. But if I'm gonna be outside, I cannot wear something super heavy for the most part because I will get a headache. And once a fragrance makes me feel some kind of way, like if I spray a fragrance and it like overtakes me because it's too hot outside, that makes me think twice about wearing that fragrance again. So I am kind of careful when it comes to that because the humidity here is absolutely ridiculous. It makes you feel like you're suffocated. So I do not want a fragrance making me feel even more suffocated. I never seen a I never seen a car like that before. Also, I'm home with my son alone. <laughs> so we may get interrupted during this video. Forgive. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into these fragrances. The first fragrance that I have is from Zerjoff, and this is Decas. So this fragrance has not been in my collection too long, maybe a couple months or so. And this one was 100% inspired by one of my lovely supporters, Fanika. She comments on almost every video and she lives in Dubai. She has an amazing collection. <laughs> And she has told me about this fragrance so many times. So when I got a chance to get a sample of this, I tried it, it was love at first spray. So thank you, Fanika. Anyway, this fragrance is absolutely stunning to me. I love it. It smells like a citrus fragrance, but it's also resinous and sweet and a little bit floral. So to me, it kind of smells like there could be some honey in here, but not like a honey scent. To me, it smells like sweetened by honey and beautiful, like full bright citruses that are quite refreshing and awakening. But then you have that resinous nature to this fragrance that makes this very unique. I love this. Perfect for hot weather, but I also feel like you could wear this one year round, but I think this is going to give me my entire life <laughs> this summer because it's bright and fresh and light and airy enough, but it's still unique and I love that for me. So yeah, I think this is going to get a lot of use. I mean, it's kind of already gotten a lot of use. I've only had this about two months. This is the big bottle, but I feel like I have used up quite a bit for me anyway so yeah i'm very excited to actually fully wear this this summer again that's zerjoff decas 
This next fragrance is another citrus fragrance and one quick word before I talk about this fragrance. I'm thinking about doing like a non-boring citrus fragrance video for you guys. So if that's something you want to see, let me know because I know some people are turned off by citruses because they think they all smell the same, but I am here to tell you that is not the case. There are lots of citruses that are beautiful and unique. So anyway, well, not lots of them, but there's citruses that are beautiful and unique. And I have some that I would love to share with you all if you're interested. So anyway, this next fragrance is from Louis Vuitton and this is called City of Stars. So this was a summer release from Louis Vuitton last year and I bought it blindly and I absolutely love it. I believe I have a whole video dedicated to this fragrance, so I will link it for you all, but it is a bright, zesty citrus scent. To me, the citruses that are in here kind of smells like lemon, some sort of orange. So it has a little bit of sweetness from that orange. And then it also kind of smells like there's some grapefruit here. And then as this fragrance dries down, I find that it becomes a little bit sweeter. So it starts out very bright and zesty. As the fragrance dries, it becomes a little bit sweeter, almost like there could be some coconut. I'm not sure if coconut is a note in here, but it definitely gives that kind of creamy sweetness that coconut can sometimes provide to a fragrance. But don't think of this as a coconut scent this is definitely a citrus bright airy amazing smelling scent y'all the sweetness is just enough it's not overpowering it's a simple fragrance but it's done extremely well and I don't know what makes this fragrance so special honestly but it definitely is so if you are looking to try a new citrus fragrance I'm pretty sure this is still available see if you can get a sample from your local Louis Vuitton if you have one because this one, it does something really magical on the skin and I love it. And you see how much I've used? Look at that, look at that dent, y'all. I mean, that was all last summer. I haven't worn this probably since last summer, but I expect to get like a good dent in it this summer as well. So again, that is City of Stars from Louis Vuitton. The next fragrance that I have is from Killian and this is Apple Brandy on the Rocks. So I love this fragrance. Do, do y'all see that dent though? Like I'm very proud of that dent. So I expect to use this by the end of the summer. And I will say they now have this in a 100 ml bottle and I don't know if I'll get that because I can just buy the refill for this, but the 100 ml bottle is definitely a better price than the 50 ml. So anyway, Apple Brandy on the Rocks is absolutely stunning to me. This is the boozy fragrance that I like to wear in hot weather. I think this performs a lot better in hot weather than it does in cold weather. So this is like a hot weather only scent for me. But anyway, it smells like Apple Brandy on the rocks. So it's boozy, a little bit woody, but it's also sparkling and has some fruity notes to it. It definitely smells like a sexy summer fragrance. So great for day dates, great for any time that I'm gonna be like outside and I wanna smell stunning and unique. And like I said, I think this does better outside. I remember last summer I took this out of town with me and I wore it on a day that I was shopping and it was like outdoor shopping. Um, <laughs> like it was at an outdoor outlet mall so we were outside a lot and I got so many compliments and I feel like the way that it was just reacting on my skin in the heat it was just working its magic y'all it was projecting it was beautiful I could smell it on myself so I highly recommend if you are looking for an outdoor fragrance so if you're gonna go be eating like lunch outside or something to that effect I wouldn't wear it to a theme park because I feel like it's too sexy and special for that <laughs> but any type of outdoor thing where you kind of dressed up, dressed nice, I feel like this will work perfectly. So again, that is Apple Brandy on the Rocks by Killian. This next fragrance is from Dior and this is Eden Rock. So this is a sophisticated beachy scent. To me, this smells like an extremely fancy beach resort, like one that I can't afford, but what I imagine one would smell like. So it's a little bit salty, has a little bit of a mineral take to it, a little bit aquatic, but also airy. It also smells like there's a little bit of coconut in here but it's not a coconut heavy scent. It's more like a clean, refreshing coconut, salty, beachy air type scent. This is the beach scent for the very sophisticated ladies. I can imagine this being the scent of a wealthy woman for the summer. Like this smells amazing. It's a very easy going fragrance. So I feel like I could wear this anytime. It's never overpowering. You can overspray and you will never offend anyone with this. 
but it's still unique. So if you're into like beachy salty scents and you're looking for something a little bit different, maybe check out Eden Rock. I think it's really well done. I know when it first came out, it wasn't getting a lot of praise or a lot of hype, but I feel like it has stood the test of time and people respect it more now than when it first came out, but it is absolutely stunning. So again, that is Eden Rock by Christian Dior. This next fragrance is from Electimus and this is Trajan. So this is a newer fragrance to me and I have only worn it one time, but let me tell you, the one time I wore it, absolutely loved it and I think this is going to work out so well for me this summer. So this, it, for lack of better terms, is the citrusy take on Baccarat Rouge 540. I hate to say it, but I feel like it's true. Now, mind you, I've only worn this once, so thoughts could change. But to me, when I smell it, it gives me a light, airy, citrusy Baccarat Rouge. So you definitely get like some bright citrus. I feel like it could be like a mix of lemon and bergamot. You get that sweetness um, that is famous in Baccarat Rouge, that kind of cotton candy sweetness, but it's not overpowering at all. And most of all, you get this airiness to this fragrance. This fragrance just floats around you. People will smell it on you. I found that when I wore this, I could smell it on myself the entire time. So in that way, I honestly think it's a little bit better than Baccarat Rouge because, <laughs> well, the original. The original Baccarat Rouge 540, I feel like I cannot smell it on myself too much. That's why I don't wear it too much. I love it, but it goes in and out for me. The X-Tray, I don't have that problem with, but the original Baccarat Rouge does do the disappearance act on me quite often. This one I feel like is a upgrade on that for the summer because it has this brightness to it and for me I can smell this the entire time no problem like it smells amazing and I don't think anybody would confuse you for wearing Baccarat Rouge because it does smell different but it's, it's good it's good. <laughs> so again that is Electimus Trajan. This next fragrance is one that I've actually never worn, so I'm very excited to wear it. This is from M. Mikalev, and this is Ylang and Gold. So this fragrance was actually sent to me from the brand, so thank you so much to M. Mikalev for sending this to me. They actually sent it to me when it was cold. I mean, it wasn't cold, but it was winter, okay? <laughs> So I didn't want to wear it at that point because I feel like this is a summer fragrance only. So I've been holding on to it and I am so excited to wear it. So I have, like I said, I haven't worn this, but when I smell it, it smells like sweet banana florals. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's Elaine that's giving it that banana smell. Sometimes it can give off that type of smell. And to me, I'm getting that, but it doesn't smell childish in any way. It smells very beachy, very tropical. If I was going on a tropical vacation, I think I would take this. Now, one thing I do wanna note is that this fragrance does have some sparkles in it. So I don't know how that's gonna work for me because I, like to spray my clothes and on this one i'm not going to be able to spray my clothes but i will be wearing this soon as soon probably the next time i go somewhere that's kind of fun like a just me and my husband or something i will probably wear this i don't know how it's going to work for me since i'm not going to spray my clothes with this so i don't know i kind of wish they would have a formulation without the sparkles in it but it smells amazing so i feel like it's going to be worth it's gonna be worth it. Hopefully it performs well, but I am very excited to wear this. I know a lot of you all have this. This is something that has been on my wish list for years. Like since I started work watching YouTube fragrance videos, this has been on my wish list. So at least like three or four years. So finally have it now. Very excited to wear it and I will have to update y'all on how it does. So again, that's Elang and Go by M. Mikalef. Also, if you're interested in this fragrance, I'm pretty sure I have a discount code with the company. So I will double check that and I will leave it in the description box along with the links for all of these fragrances and any other discount codes that I have for them. The next fragrance I have is from Tom Ford and this is Mandarino di Amalfi. So this is a fragrance I've had for a while, but I only wear this when it's really hot. It smells so refreshing. So I believe Mandarin Orange is the star note in this fragrance and that is definitely what I get. So I get this bright sweet citrus and then it also has this aquatic feel to it. It doesn't smell salty or anything but it smells almost watery. Not watered down but watery. Very refreshing. Very juicy. 
Mm, it smells so, so nice. It's not too sweet, but it's also not sharp either. I think this is very well done. Out of the collection that came in these blue-ish bottles from Tom Ford, this one is definitely my favorite. So if you're trying to decide between, say, Neroli Portofino or Costa Azura and this one, I would definitely go for this one. It's just really delicious smelling without being sweet or cloying perfect for any type of outdoor activity. I have worn this to parks. I have worn this to the zoo. <laughs> I have worn this anywhere you could possibly imagine where it's gonna be super hot outside. It's nothing fussy. It's very easy going. So again, that is Mandarino di Amalfi. This next fragrance is from Amawaj and this is Sunshine Man. So this fragrance is a newer fragrance to me as well. I've had it a few months or so and I absolutely love it. This one is hard for me to describe. I think it's quite unique. It smells uh, sweet, but also spicy, also fresh, maybe a little bit of green. I believe Immortel is the flower that is in this fragrance. I have never smelled Immortel, but I believe that's the flower in this fragrance that gives it this very unique smell in my opinion. It also smells like there could be some sort of sweet, alcohol like maybe cognac or a sweet rum in this fragrance so it has that type of sweetness to it that type of depth to it but then you also have these bright citruses that just make this fragrance feel very uplifted it has a little bit of greenness that again kind of breaks up the sweetness and i think this fragrance is just really well done i know it's targeted towards men but i definitely think this is unisex especially on the skin. When I first sprayed this fragrance, like on paper, before I tried it on my skin, I thought it was too masculine. I let it sit like five minutes and then I fell in love. And the first time I sprayed this on my skin, it was immediate love. So um, if you like fragrances that I like and you are looking for something unique for the summer, maybe check this one out if you can, maybe get a sample or something. Um, but I absolutely love this and I think this is gonna work out well for day dates for me. To me, it's a little bit too special just to wear like to the playground or to a theme park or something like that. This one would be more of a day date or even even like a date night during the summer. Side note, I'm gonna have a whole summer date night video coming out within the next week or so. So keep an eye out for that. Um, so there'll be more summer scents in the very new near future. But yeah, this one I think would work well for any type of occasion during the summer. So again, that is Amouage Sunshine Man. This next fragrance is also from Amouage and this is Lineage. I love this bottle. And this bottle to me looks like how it smells. So when I smell this, I get some citrusy notes. Not really sure what kind though. They're not very sharp, but I feel like it may be like lemon or bergamot, but kind of dulled down. Like it smells bright, but also like soft around the edges. So you get that citrusy element to it. I also feel like this smells a slight bit salty and marine-like, but not too much so. And then I also smell something sort of green in this fragrance, but again, it's not too much. It's all kind of really working well together. And then lastly, I smell some sort of maybe incense or some sort of resinous quality to this fragrance that makes it really unique so it doesn't smell like another boring citrus fragrance to me it's all these things combined hard to explain but it gives me summer vibes all the way i have worn this before and i think this is going to work out really well on super hot days especially if i'm going to be outside it smells refreshing without smelling boring and without smelling like too much of anything. It's the juxtaposition of all these different elements <laughs> and it just works. It reminds me of like a seaside vacation, but not like a tropical seaside vacation. This is the type of scent that I would kind of correlate with maybe a East Coast beach. I don't, I've never been to an East Coast beach y'all, but I'm thinking like rocks and heavy waves, <laughs> not really swimming, just kind of walking along the shore. It's not too hot, you know? That's what I'm thinking of when I smell this scent, not like the beaches we have here, <laughs> but I love it. So again, that is Amouage Lineage. This next fragrance is from House of Siage and this is Mickey Mouse. 
This fragrance is absolutely stunning. I love the packaging of it. I'm not a huge Disney fan, but this is so freaking cute. Like, I don't know how anybody could not like it, but don't let the packaging fool you. I feel like when people see these packages, they think this fragrance is gonna smell juvenile and it absolutely does not. This is gorgeous and super well done. So when I smell this fragrance, I get this beautiful creamy coconut milk. There's also some spice in here, but it's not a spicy fragrance, but I feel like I can pick out some cardamom and also smells like there's some fruits in here, but everything is kind of covered by that beautiful coconut milk scent. I absolutely love this. There's something so soothing, but also very refreshing about this scent. It does wear pretty light on the skin, but I feel like for this type of scent, that's kind of what you want. Um, because if this was super heavy, I feel like it could maybe be nauseating. <laughs> but it wears light on the skin, but it does last a decent amount of time. So great for hot weather. Honestly, this is perfection. And if you have been holding off because of the bottle, like you think it's going to smell juvenile coconut, that is not what it is at all. I love this fragrance. It does go on sale quite a bit through House of Siage. I do have an affiliate link for them, which I always leave down below, but I will link it for you guys. I love it. I'm not just saying this because it was sent to me. I think this was sent to me or did I buy it? I don't know. I honestly don't remember, but I'm saying this because I love this fragrance and I think it's perfect for summer. Side note, House of Siage, the Minnie Mouse have been out of stock for a while, but now it's back and it's currently on pre-sale. So if you've been interested in that fragrance, it's not on sale, but I know it's super popular and hard to get for people. So if you are interested, you could pick it up now. Again, I'll link it down below. So again, that is House of Siage, Mickey Mouse. This next fragrance is from the House of Oud and this is Keep Glazed. So this is a mango fragrance, but to me that does not tell the full story of this fragrance. To me, this smells like a mixture of fruits with mango being the most prominent, but it's not an overripe mango. It's like a bright, fresh mango and then some other tropical fruits as well. I'm not really able to pick out what type, um, but it definitely smells like there's other tropical fruits in here. There's also, I believe, an iced lemon note in this fragrance. And I can definitely pick that up because it smells like lemon, but it kind of smells like lemon frosting in addition to the tropical fruits. And there also feels like there may be some woody notes in this fragrance that really just keep this fragrance grounded. I actually really love the way this smells. It's quite unique, it's bright, it's a little sweet, it's fun, but it also has enough presence to it that this can be worn year round. I typically wear this spring, summer, but every now and again, I pull it out when it's cold just cause I want to, and it still works out perfectly. I just typically go for this in the spring, summer. So I'm excited to start back wearing it again cause I haven't worn this probably in about six months. So yeah, I'm excited to pull this one back out again. I wish I could see how much I had left in here because it's feeling kind of low. <laughs> I've had this for a couple years and I absolutely love it. So again, that is Keep Glaze from the House of Oud. So the last two fragrances are kind of honorable mentions because I have talked about them a lot recently. Like I feel like I've talked about them in the last like three or four videos. So I'm not gonna spend any time on them, but I am very excited to wear them and I just wanted to include them without really including them. So this first one is Lamar by Kajal. So I think I talked about this in my Juicy Fragrances video. I talked about this in my layering video. Check those out. But this is a juicy bursting pineapple scent that has some woody facets to it. Perfect for hot weather. Really can be worn year round, but I love to wear this when it's super hot outside. So again, that is Kajal Lamar. And then the second fragrance is a newer fragrance to me, but again, I feel like I've mentioned it a lot already. So this is Malibu Party in the Bay by Simone Andrioli. And this is all about the lime, y'all. This is all about the lime. The lime is extremely beautiful in this fragrance. It is quite bright, quite zesty. This does have coconut in it as well, but to me, the lime is the star of the show. And somehow they managed to make the lime stay the entire wear of this fragrance. I absolutely love it. The coconut sweetens it up a little bit, but mainly this is a zesty lime scent that has some saltiness to it as well. So again, that is Malibu Party in the Bay. 
so those were the fragrances that i'm excited to wear for summer 2023 let me know if you have tried any of these fragrances what do you think of them what is your number one fragrance that you cannot wait to get a lot of wear out of this summer let us know that in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i typically upload videos three times a week so i have tons of content that you can check out in your free time also check out my blog it's www.simplyayusha.com i would love if you got on my email list over there and just check me out over there for some different content than what you see on my youtube also if you want to connect with me more follow me over on instagram i'm typically in my stories almost every day and i love to chat with you guys in my dms i hope you all enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye